so um, so we're 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 all done, and uh, uh, the decision is that um, there will be a flex tension until the 31st of October. So that means uh, the United Kingdom um, will be able to stay in the European Union until the 31st of October. Uh, but if they ratify the withdrawal agreement before that, they can leave earlier. Um, they will have to participate in the European elections, and if they do not, uh, they will then leave without a deal on the 1st of June. Um, and uh, we'll review progress at our regular um, European Council meeting in June, but that won't be a uh, decision making as such, it'll just be an ordinary progress review. So, from Ireland's point of view, uh, it means that we won't have a no deal Brexit um, uh, on Friday. Um, if no deal happens at all, it won't happen until uh, the end of October. Um, but that creates uh, a period of time really for uh, the United Kingdom to essentially come to a cross-party agreement and ratify the agreement. So uh, allows us, I think, as Ireland and as the European Union to focus on other matters for the next couple of months. Is that extension long enough in your view? I, I really hope so. Um, you know, the European Union is imperfect. Uh, we took several hours here to make a decision. Uh, there were different views. We had to bounce things around for five, six hours this evening, but we did make a decision. Um, it's three years since the referendum now, and we really think it's time for the United Kingdom to make a decision. So we're giving them a very long period of time now to make a decision. Uh, really three options for them is to revoke Article 50 and stay in the European Union, uh, to accept the deal that's on the table, uh, or, to, um, or to leave with no deal. And this is, I asked you that question just because we'd heard before the European Council had decided that they would agree an extension if there was a clear plan which was concise and understandable. And that doesn't seem to be the case now. So are you saying this is the last chance? Um, I'm not. Uh, you know, in fairness to Prime Minister May, she set out a plan. Uh, she said that they were engaged in talks with the Labour Party. Um, their political system is very different to most European countries. They've only had one coalition in 70 years. Coalitions are the norm in other parts of Europe. Uh, if this is an agreement that they come to with the Labour Party, it'll be the first time that the two major parties have agreed something since the Second World War. Uh, so this is significant from the point of view of what happens in British politics. Uh, and um, really the plan that she set out was an attempt to agree something with the Labour Party. She was absolutely uh, straight that there are no discussions on any changes to the withdrawal agreement. She says that the Conservative Party and the Labour Party both accept that the withdrawal agreement is not up for negotiation, but they would be seeking amendments to the political declaration on the future relationship in round things like workers' rights, environmental standards, uh, potential customs union or customs partnership, and that's what she would come back to us with. But if she couldn't come to an agreement with the Labour Party, and a series of options would be put to Parliament and she would agree to be bound by those. Um, so I think it was adequate in the sense that things have changed since three weeks ago uh, in that there is now there are now cross-party talks. Uh, there is a sense that they might be successful, but if they're not successful, then there's a fallback option. So, you know, from the point of view of everyone around the table today, that was adequate to prevent no deal uh, on Friday. Uh, and we're giving them, giving them more time, you know, the European Union is not a prison, nobody has to stay, uh, but it's also a home and we're not going to kick anyone out either. Tishas, what, what's going to be done to make sure that uh, Britain doesn't waste that time as it has before and we don't just end up here in six months' time looking at nobody again? Well, you know, ultimately this, up, this is up to them. You know, Brexit was a decision made by the British people in a referendum. Uh, Parliament has voted um, that, to say that they won't leave without a deal. Uh, a deal is on the table. They can now accept it. Ultimately, this really is a decision for the British people to make. Uh, the European Union isn't going to be responsible for no deal, nor are we going to push the United Kingdom out of the European Union. This is a decision for them. Was the irony of uh, it being on Halloween the new Brexit day delivered? Um, not, not, not really, actually. Halloween is, as I learned this evening, Halloween's not, not a holiday widely celebrated across the European Union. Well, well, Tom Sosta has shown so crew a knock. Neil McKinsha, yeah, could make could make shape possible um, uh, for Freedom May to get this through, but uh, we're giving them more time. So. Be disruptive within the EU going forward. Is there anything talk, any talk about that or how that could be limited? 
Yeah, you know, you know that there there is some genuine concern about what it would mean for the United Kingdom to stay in the European Union uh, as a country that's leaving. Um, when it comes to the Council of Ministers and the European Council, we got some very strong advice from the President of the European Commission, John Claude Juncker, that when it comes to issues around the future, for example, uh, cap reform, the next MFF. Um, matters like that, it is actually possible for us to meet as 27 with the United Kingdom not present. Uh, the president is already there with the Euro group, uh, that only countries in the Euro meet uh, to discuss certain issues, so it will be possible for us to make long-term decisions uh, without the UK being at the table, um, but they will still have an EU commissioner, for example. Um, a lot of the big decisions are made by quality majority vote anyway, so I know some people had a concern that there might be a difficulty electing a new president of the commission or electing a new president of the council. Uh, but as was pointed out, these decisions are made by QMV or by consensus anyway. Uh, fi 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 finally, though, there, there is, is an ongoing concern uh, that UK members of Parliament from the UK could be disruptive within the European Parliament. Um, but quite frankly, that is already the case with um, UKIP and Farage, so that wouldn't be a disimprovement. Making big decisions at council level with 27, doesn't that contradict the insistence that there must be European Parliament elections? Because the argument was the Parliament wouldn't be properly constituted. It, um, the reality is we have to follow the treaties, and the treaties say that if the United Kingdom is still a member of the European Union, well then it is a full member, and that means electing members of the European Parliament. It means being present at European Council meetings and Council of Ministers meetings. It means having a new commissioner. And the only way we could change those facts is by changing the treaties. And that would require uh, a treaty change and ratification by 27 member parliaments. So we have to be the grown-ups in the room. We have to be practical about this and sensible. Uh, if the United Kingdom is still in the European Union, they will elect MEPs to the European Parliament. Uh, they will still have an EU commissioner. But when it comes to decisions made at EU Council, uh, and council ministers, it would be possible to meet in, 20, in the 27 format uh, to discuss things that are into the future. But like I say, uh, you know, we have to be practical, we have to be sensible, we have to be logical, we have to be the grown-ups in the room, and we have to operate within the rules. Okay, Is thanks. I'm sorry, that's all we have time for now. You mentioned you. on the customs union the way No, in no. Was yeah. that something you raised? Um, did you hear anything from uh, the No, we, 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 did, we didn't really have a discussion on, on the shape of the future relationship, so there was no discussion about a customs union, um, no discussion about uh, no deal planning uh, in Ireland, and no pressure on the vaccine. Thank you.